this was one of those days that will go down as the as the triple inches of rain in some yeah. communities. And I, I know Eric's having fun when you start tweeting out strange cloud <laughs> formations. Oh yeah, that's the stuff, right? So everyone's interested in strange cloud formations. Uh, you know, someone actually sent in a tweet tonight. Said, hey, "What did, do you have this like list that you're going off every day? There's always a different cloud." I said, "If you're a weather geek, and I'm sure there are a few of you out there, you probably had that poster in your room growing up. It was like Macho Man Randy Savage and Nomar, and then clouds." Said, oh, "Yeah." So yeah, this is what we were looking at over Boston Harbor this evening. That not a cloud. It's actually a rain shaft coming down across Boston Harbor. Some heavy rainfall. These are Mammatus clouds over Beverly earlier on. Roger Porter capturing that storm, and a few of you sending in these Mammatus clouds. They're always an interesting sight. We don't see them too often here in New England. But quite a few storm reports out there. Some downed trees, some lightning strikes, flash flooding. The main issue certainly in many communities. Those roads filling up with water. Kind of a dangerous evening commute. Quieter outside tonight. But still kind of an unsettled pattern. Still very humid outside. Dew points are well up into the 60s. That will allow for another round of some thunderstorms tomorrow. During the morning, some low clouds, some fog start the day. It's kind of a murky, clammy start. Temperatures around 70 degrees. Then we'll break in the sun. Temperatures will start to respond. So they'll head up into the 80s. Again, we'll watch the clouds build. And then a chance for a couple of showers and storms in the afternoon. They'll be a little less widespread than we had outside today. We'll take a look at it in a minute. But once we get into the sunshine during the afternoon, temperatures do jump up into the 80s, pretty much right on target for this time of year. So the morning is dry as we head toward midday and into the afternoon. The peak heat, you see some scattered showers and thunderstorms developing. Not quite as impressive as a setup tomorrow as what we had today. So I do still think there'll be hit or miss thunderstorms. Not going to be as big of a flood issue, but there'll still be some localized heavy downpours. And then once we hit sunset, they'll all dissipate yet again. And the same idea tomorrow in terms of where are they going to line up across central eastern Mass, far southern New Hampshire, missing southeastern parts of Massachusetts. So the Cape, the islands, it's another day that starts off a little cloud cover, otherwise bright, warm, and we do that right on through the start of the weekend with highs close to 80 degrees. Meanwhile, far, farther inland, you head up toward the Lakes region, interior parts of New England. Chance of afternoon storms tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. So watch the skies if you're out on the lakes. And certainly a good time to head into harbor if you hear any of that thunder or see any lightning. Now, as we look toward the end of the week, Friday, most of the storms are going to focus across New York State and Vermont. So I think we'll stay mainly dry here in southern New England. Then on Saturday, the cold front that's going to put an end to the humidity will be moving through. With that, a chance for a couple showers and storms on Saturday. Not a washout day, but we'll have to dodge a couple more of these downpours. And then on Sunday, in comes high pressure in a beautiful second half of the weekend. So we're looking at highs again in the 80s on Saturday. Best chance of some showers and downpours will be north and west of Boston. So again, a lower risk as you head toward the south coast and the Cape. Then on Sunday, 82, dry air, beautiful, very low humidity. And for the Pan Mass Challenge, we'll watch the skies on Saturday. Most of it would be during the afternoon, and so many cyclists will already be getting toward their destination for the evening. Sunday's a west breeze and a beautiful day to be out there across Cape Cod and out toward Provincetown. And the humidity, you watch it drop like a rock. Sunday into Monday, much more comfortable conditions. Taking up residence here in New England. So here's the seven-day outlook. And then things move pretty fast next week. Be an active weather pattern, I think, by Monday evening. Some rain heads our way. It lingers into Tuesday morning. We'll dry out Wednesday and likely do it again at the end of the week. So David and Lisa, some busy weather times continue. All right, Eric, thank you.